Preparation. To begin, we'll need to gather some important tools which will facilitate the whole process of producing the archipelago system. Many of the following are common to most households or are not entirely necessary, but there are three specialized tools which are absolutely necessary for the project. The first is the bottle slicer, which is a low-tech piece of equipment, but its efficacy is actually incredibly important for the further steps to work properly. Many other designs for PET filament extruders have bottle slicers built right into them, but with it being a separate tool, the slice bottles will take up much less space than intact bottles. Thus, when producing a lot of filament, it makes sense to prepare a lot of material all at once so it can be dried and extracted in a more efficient way. Also, while the Archipelago PT filament extruder may not be the smallest filament extruder out there, it is certainly very compact and efficient. The last piece of the preparatory puzzle is the 3D printer. And unfortunately, not all will be able to print PET, so you'll have to research that on your own. But both the WASP 4070 and the Ultimaker 3 have been used in this project, and Ender 3D printers are able to print PET so long as they have an all-metal hot end. And you will need one which is capable of printing at 260 to 265 degrees Celsius or greater. Once you've prepared all of the tools, move on to the next step in the archipelago process, or work on them both simultaneously. A list of tools and materials can be found at the archipelago website, https colon slash archipelagogo.weebly.com.